The classic play Little Shop of Horrors is rolling into the Mustang Theatre in Niagara Falls. We caught up with some of the cast and crew to get a sneak peek. It's a show about, about an individual who wants their plant to grow, right? And, uh, and is doing all of the right things to make it grow and can't help but notice that the wrong things make it grow. So <clears throat> in doing that, he, uh, he comes to the conclusion or comes to the decision that he needs to come to a conclusion on whether we do the right thing or the wrong thing, right? And through that, we see a beautiful love story develop. Uh, and uh, we also see a father-son dynamic as well, which is, pretty, which is pretty enjoyable as well. Two strong drama students are cast in the lead roles of Audrey and Seymour. Audrey is basically a love interest of Seymour. She's kind of struggling in her own life. She's got an abusive boyfriend who she's been dealing with for a while, and I think that's really took a toll on her self-confidence. So she's kind of finding herself through her relationship with Seymour and kind of learning how to be her own person, not just in the shadow of somebody who's not really a great person. Well, Seymour Krellborn is a really, he's a really interesting character. He's this down on his luck botanist. He cares so much about the plants, but they don't bring him anywhere. He's kind of dead end in life. He's trying to find some way, something to get him out of his, his rut. He likes these strange, interesting plants. And in the play, he talks about wandering through streets to find like these weird plants that can kind of maybe bring something to him but he's really unsure of his life, where he is, what his role is, and he kind of takes whatever comes to him and that leads him down some really interesting paths. Both Sophia and Stefan spent many hours developing their characters. I need to make sure that you can see how Audrey is kind of, although she's beat down a lot, she's still poised. She has her kind of dignity, even though she doesn't have the best situation going on at home, she doesn't really, or at least tries not to let the cracks show. So I thought of how to portray that aspect of her, but also have her be kind of like a role model of how a lady should act. There's a lot of things I think that I can take in from watching the, the musical, watching the movie. I, I bring a lot of things I notice in my own life to the character. I think there's a, there's a lot of things that I align with, right? With kind of like the, the nerdiness and, and some of that, that geeky tendencies I can kind of bring from my own life to the character, uh, which has been a process and it's, it's been a really interesting one starts with the passion, right? We all kind of start on our own projects and then hope that everything works together. So, you know, throughout the year we've been um, stepping in and seeing how the other side has been doing. So we've been checking in on the band, the band has been checking in on us, and it's been over the past few weeks that we've really started integrating all of those parts together. And luckily it's, it's, it's gone over quite smoothly so far. Well, the show runs April 25th to 27th. Doors open at 6.30, and actually this year, all of the proceeds uh, from Little Shop are going to the Canadian Breast Cancer Society. In Niagara Falls, for The Source, I'm Anthony Luongo.